Hey there, trendsetters and dream chasers, how you doing? Welcome back to another week in my life living alone in Tokyo, Japan. I've been living here for about five weeks and I feel like I'm just sort of starting to get into the rhythm and routine of living here in Tokyo with so much to do. I'm trying to also just keep it simple and enjoy the little things like stepping outside every day to see the beautiful springtime weather. Oh, I'm so lucky to live in this gorgeous area. I've made myself some breakfast. It's a rice bowl with an egg. But since my skin's been so bad recently, I've been researching healthy Japanese food and especially healthy Japanese food that has probiotics. And you already know the food that came up, don't you? Okay, so this is natto. I tried it once in Japan last time I was here for World Cosplay Summit and I did not really like it. But I'm giving this another try because I think just the health benefits and it being a really easy breakfast food, Mmm, there it is. I'm not sure which kind of natto that I got, but it has the mustard and the little sauce packet, so hopefully that makes it taste okay. It looks different than I remember it. Mmm, yummy. But I researched how to make natto taste good for beginners, and they said over warm rice with an egg and like soy sauce or like mayo, and I have all that, so surely I can make it work. Oofed, oofed. Oof, the regret is sinking in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, it really has a oof. It's now or never, right? Yeah. Mm, this is gonna be interesting. I don't know what this is. I think it might be soy. Or we'll just add it anyway since it came with it. So I'm sure it'll make it taste good. Like a vinegary? I do like vinegar. Give it a go. And a little bit of mustard. I don't like how much waste comes with all of this. It's your pan. All right, we were ready for a taste test. I'm gonna try it with some of the rice though. All right, here we go. Okay, the rice makes it like a million times better. Mm. Mm. Mm, the mustard is so strong. Okay guys, it's not even that bad. I'm on my way to Shinjuku Edokaya, Edokaya, Ekadaya, I can never say the name right, but I need some ribbon and I figured that I'm gonna check out what they have because I've been really confused where to get my ribbon. I, Daiso doesn't seem to have any good ones, so I'm really hoping that they have some here. Let's go cheek. <laughs> I really wanted to include this, me trying to buy stamps at the conveni. I ended up getting them, but I know that my Japanese still needs a lot of practice. But hey, I'm not going to improve unless I try to talk to people. So I headed to Okadaya in Shinjuku, which I hadn't been here before, but oh my god, is this the cosplayer's paradise? They literally have everything you could probably need for a cosplay like i haven't sourced stuff from here yet this is my first time going but like i couldn't believe how much stuff they had for costumes they have makeup they have contact lenses they have wigs and then you get to the crafting stuff and they have so many good things for crafting it's great there's a whole floor dedicated to ribbons and lace on the more expensive side unfortunately compared to like nippori or even online so i didn't end up buying anything because i got so overwhelmed i think i've got a bit of like i don't know <laughs> maybe adhd or maybe overstimulated but i literally had to go and get something to eat before coming back because i literally forgot to buy everything that i needed which it's kind of goofy but happens to the best of us right so i headed to moss burger for i really wanted to try the rice burger that they have honestly it was kind of weird i didn't film it because it looks kind of gross not gonna lie um <laughs> but there's like seafood in it which i wasn't expecting I should have just read the ingredient list, but I don't think I'll go to Moss Burger again. Yeah, I just got back from Shinjuku. I'm going to try to finish this tonight. I just feel very motivated. I really want to get it up for sale ASAP because I want to work on my next project. I think all that I have to do is lace up the back corset. I have to add snaps to the bow. I have to add hair, uh, little hair things to the hair things. And I have to add like little ties so that you can tie yourself up in the kimono so it's like size friendly. Like yeah, different sizes can fit it. Okay, let's do it. Let's finish it. Yeah. 
y'all i have fallen in love with kimchi never before have i discovered the power of kimchi and now i'm obsessed with it i've been having it for breakfast lunch and dinner can you overdose on kimchi can you have too much kimchi i'm about to go and buy like the biggest freaking jar i can find of kimchi since i still don't have a bicycle or anything i've just been walking around my local sort of area and seeing what kind of things are around I found this really nice plant shop that had really cheap plants and honestly I'm tempted to go back and find some more. <laughs> this really cursed <laughs> mascot just in a bubble. I ended up walking and I found a three-story grocery store. Like they had so much good stuff. I'm sorry, I just found Tim Tams at the store and they're like cheaper than you can buy them in Australia. Are you kidding me? Insane. Okay, I need to show you the equivalent of groceries. So, I just came back from the grocery store. This is what the equivalent of 28 Australian, 28.50 Australian dollars can get you at the grocery store. I'm just so impressed. I do not miss groceries in Australia at all. At all. You should move here. You move here. Like, this is crazy. Crazy. Absolutely insane. Bonkers. Okay, I didn't buy that huge thing of kimchi, but trust me, when I run out of my current kimchi, I'm going back and I'm getting that huge one because it was only like 240 yen. It was very cheap. I'm on my kimchi shit. I need to now design some more stuff and look at setting up my shop because I really want to launch it ASAP. I need to start earning income. <laughs> yeah. That was Good morning, my beautiful people. So today it is Sunday. I'm sure about that, it's Sunday. I put up my kimono for sale. She's finished. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my gosh. The back, I'm really proud of the back. I love the little like, heart cut up. Ah, so good. I realized I don't really have any materials at home. All I have are the leftovers from these projects, which is not a lot. It's like scraps, like, like not a lot to do with. I'm saving this for my stash. Stash. I was gonna say stash stash, but that's just stash stash. I'm gonna go to Shinjuku to Okadaya to see if there's any fabric that I think I could use for some simple. I was like, you know what? I just did something really complicated. How about we just do like a really cute simple idol skirt with the remainders of the fabric that I have? So I'm gonna go to Shinjuku and I think I really want to get a coffee while I'm out. I might try and see what we're doing. And tonight I want to try and go to Shibuya to the Sakura Illuminations. I've missed a lot of the ones that have happened last weekend because the sakura technically weren't like blooming but all the festivals were happening so hopefully tonight there are sakura and festival that's why i'm wearing my dress because i felt like sakura yay <laughs> uh let's go So if you've been watching my vlogs since the start of when I got to Japan, you might remember that I've been saying how much I want a lamp for like ages now and I've only just finally gotten it. This is largely just because I think I have a really bad like relationship and mindset when it comes to money. Unfortunately, it's something that I'm really working on, but I've just always been in a scarcity mindset for such a long time of always kind of just having to like get by week by week, but it's something that I'm really trying to work on because I don't want to live under that constant pressure and fear and scarcity kind of thing for the rest of my life. I really want to just be able to relax and enjoy and not think about money every time I go to buy something because it's kind of the world we live in. Everything costs money so I'm working on it, I'm getting better at it and I love the things that I got, they're so useful. And if you're wondering what project I started, I'm actually just doing something for fun. Like I said, I wanted to do something more simple and I tried to mock up some designs for it before I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna treat this like practice. Like any artist would, you do like sketch studies, model studies, well now I'm gonna do some fashion studies and I'm gonna try and make a matching vest to go with this little skirt that I'm working on and see how it goes. Thank you. 
I didn't end up doing anything special for April Fools this year. Honestly, I'm just not that funny, but we decided to go to see Mermal live because they had a free live show. So Mermal, Mermal, uh, and my friend, one of my friends is in the group, Heidi, and I was really excited to see them in person. And I got given like these tokens when we went because rather than just being able to buy like a checky, you have to buy like these cards. Bro, they had their own like card game. This was confusing AF, but I think I ended up understanding it eventually. Uh, I still have, I ended up taking a bunch of these home, but. What again? Okay. It's literally like, huh? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, hi, hi. Like most like it or something. So if there's yay chicken, chicken, chicken. Yeah, mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going to classes every week and I've really been enjoying uh, learning Japanese. It's more of a casual style class though. It's very conversational and honestly I still have a lot, long, 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 long way to go to be able to even just have a conversation in Japanese but it's something that I'm really excited to achieve. I'll keep working hard on it and I ended up going back home pretty quickly after my lesson. I wanted to finish or like keep cutting out the fabric from the vest that I'm making. Um, it's time for another grocery shop. It feels like I've been doing a lot of grocery shops, but I feel like the reason is because the bag, like I have to take everything home with me. I'm, I can't put it in my car, so I can only buy what I can carry, which sometimes is like not a lot. Maybe I need a second bag to be able to do two loads of groceries at a time. But it also helps me not to buy snacks, honestly, because I know that I can only carry what I can fit in my bag. So I have to be very responsible. And something I love in Japan is the process of the grocery stores. Like you have to like bring your basket to the bench and then pack your bag there, which is like only how Aldi works in Australia. I feel like normally grocery stores like calls and all these you have to pack everything and there's lines and it's very efficient. That's one thing about Japan, they got their efficiency. But that brings us to pretty much the end of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for staying for the comfy vibes and I will see you in week six. Bye!